So I'm just walking the floor of SHOT Show and I see Air Gun Depot. Hey, I should say hi to these guys. It'd be fun to play with air guns. And I go into the booth and they have a shotgun. An air shotgun? I had no idea. How cool. So they sent us one. We got the wing shot shotgun. Well, really, what can an air gun do? We're not sure. We're going to find out today. Let's check it out. First, we need air. Let's add air. All right, so to add the air, put it on fire, cock it, make sure the chamber's closed. We want to make sure the line is bled. There's no air on the line. Take off this little cap here, connect it. So we're just going to open up the air and fill it to the top of the green as it hits red. Air's going in. And we'll call her good there. Turn the tank off. Lead the line. That felt good. We should be ready to shoot. Of course, when I was at the booth, one of the questions I had, well, what kind of ammo do you put in it? Like, you obviously don't use normal shot shell ammo. No, of course you don't. They make their own ammunition. Here's eight shot, we got eight shot, six shot. You open up the little chamber deal here, slide your shot in, you're good to go. The first thing I'm gonna do, I have no idea how this pattern, so I wanna check that out. I got a board set up here at 10 yards, let's take a shot. Shoots a little low. All right, I know where that's shooting. Um, point of impact, it was all below the center of aim. And I think you can get up to about five shots, they say, out of one fill of air. Let's try uh, 20 yards here. Ouch! The BBs bounce back off that board. That's why we always wear ESS glasses, right, Aaron? That's right. Okay, so it's shooting quite a bit lower than what our normal guns do. Uh, I'm glad we patterned. So both at 10 and 20 yards, I was aiming right at the red in the middle, and they shot quite a bit low from my point of aim. So we didn't get a good idea what the pattern is like. We know that it's shooting low. I'm gonna hold at the top of this one at 20 yards and let's go check out, see what type of pattern we get. Still shooting the eight shot. Let's go check it out. Not a super dense pattern, but definitely on the board. I was aiming right here and the majority of my pattern's about right here. So low and to the left a little bit. Not super dense at 20 yards. If I'm shooting at a, a dove or a pigeon, there's gaps in there but uh, I think it's enough to take one down. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what happens when we shoot clay pigeons. All right, let's start with one clay. See if I can even hit that. Broke it, didn't smoke it by any means, but it, it did break. Let's get one out there a little bit further. You gotta do that first. I'm used to my semi-auto shotguns. <laughs> Woo! That was pretty! <laughs> oh, my point of aim is totally different than our regular shotgun. I'm having to aim underneath it. Alright, well it can smoke clays. How about charcoal? Let's see what happens shooting the charcoal out of there. It pushed it, definitely hit it, didn't powder it like normal. All right, what about, um, what do you say we try a little uh, apple action here? I am pretty sure I hit that. I'm pretty sure he did too, right on the top. Well, there's BBs, I mean, all throughout it. It was hit fairly decent. Let's try again. This is called a PCP, PCP, which stands for pre-charged pneumatic. 
Hey, look at that. I do know a thing or two. You're mine, Apple. You're mine. That's, I scunned it pretty good. I just don't think I'm accurate enough with this gun yet. Look at that. That is unacceptable. Let's go for the big boy here, cabbage. Have the cabbage. It just does not have the power just to massively explode it. I'm gonna go get my shotgun in a minute and show you what it looks like when we do it with an SX4. How about um, Dr. Pepper? Got a I was just going to tell him, let's switch directions so we don't get full of pop. Got that one. Soda. Pop. Aaron says pop. Comment below, do you say pop, soda, or a Coke? I think only the Midwestern, the far, the Northland people say pop. But I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. How about a uh, potato? I hit it, dude. The BBs are hitting it. I mean, you can see here, it's it's getting hit. BBs all around it. What happens if we do this? Did I put a shell in there? I'm 90% sure I did, but nothing happened, did it? Cuts the potato in half. Let's see what happens if I can shoot one of these out of the air. I don't even know how to throw one. Ooh, look at that though. I know I probably hit it at a little bit of an angle, but the BBs all bounced off, deflected off. All right, so we're getting an idea what type of power this thing has. And it's not as much as a regular shotgun, I can tell you that much. But this is still pretty cool. As you know, or as you can see, I'm not wearing hearing protection. It's a little bit loud, but it doesn't hurt the ears. What else should we try, Aaron? Tomato. I was going to say, if it can't blow up a tomato, there's no hope. Mm. It's raining back on us. Whoever thought of shooting this direction, it was probably me. All right, locked, loaded. You're going down, tomato. My goodness. Come up here, this tomato is getting it. It works at that distance. You can tell you that much. What's it do to this? What is this, a musk cantaloupe? That gives you an idea, right there. Point blank range. Does some damage, this isn't a toy. But it just doesn't blow them up like we're used to. All right, well, before I grab my shotgun and blow these, the rest of these vegetables to smithereens, let's see if I can do at least one trick shot with this thing, huh? What shot should I try, Aaron? Why don't you try from the hip? Let's make it a little bit more difficult. Behind the back. There's one simple play behind the back. Simple, one simple play. The good old fashioned over the head shot. It goes a little high on that one. Boom! Yes! Yeah, we might have to put this in our live show. What do you guys think? Comment below. Do you think we should put this in our live show? The wing shot air shotgun. I think it's time to grab a regular shotgun and do a little side-by-side -side comparison. What do you think? All right, it's time to clean up this mess. Remember this uh, cantaloupe here? This is what the wing shot air gun did. Let's see what the shotgun does. Point blank range. 
Little bit more power, I'd say. Uh, what else we got to clean up here? A little apple action. Goodbye, orange. See ya, potatoes. Dr. Pepper! Oh, that was so close. Oh yeah, and that lid? Let's try that lid. Remember that lid that I shot at 20 yards? It's actually this lid that I shot at 20 yards. Correction, that lid that I shot at 10 yards. Here's what happens with the regular shotgun. 12 gauge. Little bit of difference. Full penetration, tore it up good. It just ain't right leaving these vegetables laying around like this. I'm gonna do a little quick clean up here. That's better. All cleaned up. That's the way I like to clean right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so final thoughts on the wing shot shotgun. Air shotgun. Well, as we've seen, definitely not the same as a regular shotgun. A lot less power, a lot less effective range, but you know what? I found it still pretty fun. It was relatively easy to shoot, low recoil, hearing safe. Uh, the one thing I really didn't like about it is this raised rib. It just made my sight picture way off from what it normally is. Made some of those shots a lot more challenging than they need to be, but regardless, I was still able to hit one behind the back, over the head, blow up some clays and uh, skin some vegetables. So a whole lot of fun. Thanks so much guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you're interested in checking this out, maybe owning one for yourself, it is the Wing Shot and you can purchase it at Air Gun Depot and special thanks to them for hooking us up with this gun. We had a lot of fun today. As always guys, it's impossible to hit those shots you don't take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya.